Well, hello and welcome to Monument Cycling's highlights of the East Cleveland Classic. We're back again today at Saltburn by the Sea for this, the first round of the 2024 Open National Road Race Series. And as soon as a neutral flag was dropped to start the race, the attacks would come thick and fast. The race today would take in 167 kilometres of tough and hilly Yorkshire countryside, with six laps of an extended version of the circuit used for last year's National Road Race Championships. And defending series team champion St. Piran were looking to extend their run of dominance into the new season. The first group then to distance themselves from the other 135 or so riders were Dom Jackson in the maroon of foreign cycling team, Tom Martin in the yellow of wheelbase cab tech Castelli and Rowan Baker in the black of St. Piran. And the three would extend a roughly 30 second gap to the bunch for around 10 kilometers. Now this wasn't to last however, as two of the initial three would be swapped by the time we got to the first rise of the gruelling Saltburn bank. Tom Martin of the original breakaway would lead, but this time he'd be joined by Oliver Hux of Tap Callas and George Kimber of Spirit TBW Stuart Hall Cycling. Now it was Martin who led over the first ascent of Saltburn, but the three would work well together into the strong headwind of the first half of the circuit, maintaining a lead over the chasing peloton with 110 kilometers to go. It wasn't long, however, until this trio were pulled back in. And at this point, a group of seven riders powered off the front. This new group again featured St. Piran, but also Richardson's Trek Das. And these seven would be joined over the next few kilometers by a couple of chasing groups as behind the fracturing peloton would hemorrhage riders. And at 73 kilometers to go with a solid group out front, it looked like the race would likely be over for anyone caught out behind. 59 kilometers to go then, and this time it was Reese Robertham of St. Piran who would send himself clear to be joined shortly after by 2022 British national cyclocross champion Thomas Mean. Now the two look very strong together and moments later would be joined by a second man in black, the earlier breakaway antagonist, Rowan Baker. So with under 60 kilometers to go, the three out front were Thomas Mean riding in the white kit for Project One cycling team. And the two St. Piran riders, Reese Robertham and Rowan Baker again in a move that seems so reminiscent of what we've come to expect from St. Piran over the last year. The three would continue to try and gain time on the remains of the peloton chasing behind and for a moment it looked as though they might not go clear. But without a strongly coordinated chasing effort they did continue to expand their lead. And it was Thomas Mean who first looked to be cracking under the day's pressure as Rowan Baker ploughed on at the front. On to the penultimate climb of Saltburn Bank then and the first sign that all was not well for Reese Robertham as he struggled to hold the wheel of his teammate on the brutal 11% gradient. In and out of the saddle and clearly not happy with the pace, the day's efforts evidently having sapped the fuel from his engine and with no matches left to burn, even with the shouts of encouragement from the crowd at the side of the road, the gap would continue to increase. Hopes of the breakaway victory then riding away up the road as Rowan Baker knows he can't afford to wait. But Robertham here surely confident that he's given his teammate the chance to make the absolute most of the power he clearly has in his legs today as we join the live commentary into the last lap. And we begin the final climb. Oh, up that salt burn bank. We've got a couple of hairpins, but this is going to be the man of the day as we can hear a couple of cowbells. Is he going to look back? Does he see anybody? This is the first opportunity we might get to look back on the road, but it looks like this is going to be our man. We look back. Is there anybody following? He looks down the road. It looks clear. This is going to be our man. This is the moment of the day. It is going to be Mr. Rowan Baker for St. Piran, an incredible victory for them. Like you said, Harry, the rest of his team are going to be hopefully sheltering in that bunch as we can't see them anywhere in sight. We can see all the way down Saltburn, not a sight, not a cyclist in view. We can see so many spectators out, willing him on, willing Rowan home. An excellent ride, a brilliant ride, a ride that will perhaps go down in Saltburn legend. He looks back, is that a slight smile on the face, sticks the tongue out, looks down, the grimace, he's not sitting up at all, he's putting everything out, every single watt of power he's going to leave out on the road today. We'll be coming up very shortly to the finish, just gripping the tops of those bars there. Pedaling, pedaling through. Oh, what a ride. Looks back, is there anybody there? We're gonna see this finish. He knows he's done it. A little clenching the fist there. Incredible, incredible ride. Just a few hundred meters to the finish now. Now he'll be able to take it all in. He's done the climbs. 
He'll post up in a little bit if he's got the energy. Tap the jersey. Tap the St. Piran. Another air, win. Another win for St. Piran. Well, there we have it then. Rowan Baker, our winner today. Tim Shoreham in second place for Woolbase Cab Tech Castelli. They'll take second in the team standings as well. And James McKay rounds out the podium for St. Piran in third. Thanks very much for joining us and we look forward to catching you next time.